I think Miami really should realize that it's the new century, quite simply. Um, you know, this is not some wacky theory that I have, you know, the guy going to do all the talk about Copenhagen. This is something that is happening. This is the zeitgeist. Cities around the world where there were no bicycles left as transport because, you know, we didn't need them anymore are rediscovering the bicycle as transport. Paris, there were no bikes left in Paris. Sevilla in Spain, Buenos Aires, Dublin, Budapest, Barcelona. There were no bicycles left just 10 years ago. Now Paris is at 5% mode share for bikes inside the city ring. Se Sevilla, this is like the, 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 the greatest story we've had so far. They went from 0.2 on bikes. Oh, you can't ride a bike here, it's too hot, it's too humid, they thought. Uh, they used to do it, and they, but the modern age, they're going, yeah, we can't do that here. They went to 7% in only four years. They built protected bike lanes in a network that makes sense. And there's a latent demand in all of our cities for, for transport in all forms, and, and the bicycle is underrated underappreciated. Sevilla proved that it's possible. Buenos Aires is the new poster child. 90 miles of protected bike lane infrastructure in a network fell out of the sky. There are streets in only two years with 5,000 people a day just going to work on their bikes. Not the spandex and the, and the lycra and, the, and the, the sporty crowd. That's fine if they're going to do that. We're talking about transport in a city. We need to move people in our cities and the bicycle has a very, very effective role in doing that as part of the transport equation. So what does Miami do? Do what the rest of the world is doing, Miami. That's the simple answer.